Yo, it's Sun here, and today I'm going to show you how to download one click uh, properly. So first you want to go into the server or into a page that you trust and download Windows 22 H2 ISO file. Uh, as you can see here in Quake server, there is a trusted page, which is archive.org. So I'm just going to click visit site, I'm gonna load it up. I want to click ISO image and you want to click on download and you just want to save it. Now just go into Rufus page on GitHub page and download 3.19. You will need to download this one since it has some options that we will need to bypass Windows 11 requirements, right? So I just want to go into releases, scroll all the way down, go to the second page and click on assets on the arrow and download uh, 3.19. Now I just want to open it. I just want to select the ISO, make sure all the settings are correct. You want to check both of the three first settings. Well, the second one is not needed, but I'm going to check it just because. Now you just need to wait until it's done. Now to proceed with the actual uh, tool uh, that Rufus is, you just want to go, go into your BIOS. So you just want to type shutdown slash r slash fw time zero on your CMD and it will prompt you with your BIOS, right? So just want to go into boot on boot option number one, just select the USB that you downloaded um, Windows 11 ISO in and press F10 and uh, it will be done. Now, once you are into this page, just go in keyboard input method and put it to your language um, Portuguese. So I'm going to make it Portuguese so it's easier to use later on. Scroll all the way down on time and currency format and find um your country so just do that then click i don't have a product key windows 11 home you will be able to turn on a key uh, later on now you just want to delete every single partition you have right so you will lose everything you have keep that in mind just delete everything then just once that once that's done just click next and yeah just wait for it to install so once it has installed, it will take you to this page. So now you just want to scroll all the way down, find the same layout you chose. So mine is Portuguese. So I'm going to pick it, click yes, click skip. Then you want to click I don't have internet. You will have to make sure you you actually plug out your ethernet cable before you do this, right? Just click I don't have ethernet and click on continue with limited setup. Then type any name. I'm not going to use a password. Then just click on no or the bottom option on everything from now on. As you can see, just I'm doing just as I'm doing the video. And now it will be loading into Windows. So once that is done, um now in my PC, just connect back your Ethernet cable. Then you wanna right click, go to settings, now go into Windows Update, and you wanna download every single update as you can see right here. Right, just wait for that and then you can click on restart now so as you can see my office has now been pushed and it's all updated uh, you can delete microsoft edge as one click we'll be doing it that either way so now i'm going to teach you how to install <coughs> nvidia drivers the proper way right so you just want to look up for nvidia clean install then you want to choose it then you want to download it then you want to run it Now I'm just going with the with the latest uh, driver version that I have. I'm just going to click on next. Now you want to choose Legacy Control Panel HD Audio uh, and Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 runtimes and PhysicX. The reason you need PhysicX is because some games still use it, uh, so you need it in case you play those games. I'm just going to run it just because. If you use NVIDIA clipping software, you will need Shadowplay. Uh, I use OBS, which is uh, way better and way less de-bloated, so I'm not going to use it. Um, so I'm just going to proceed with the installation normally. Now I just have to wait for this to finish. Now it has finished, so now you'll have to, cho cho to choose the, uh, the three first options, right? I'm also going to pick out um, then to use the DLSS indicator. Uh, this is useful for games that do use the LSS and I do play some games that use the LSS So I'm going to turn this on if you do play those games make sure to turn this on because it might be needed So now I just want to click on next 
and click on install and just wait for it to finish. Now once that is done, you will get a black screen, it means it is finished. Now you can proceed uh, with the normal installation as you can see in the video control panel over here. You want to access it and you're going to set up some settings. Let's click the first option, then you drag the slider all the way to performance, you want to click apply. And then you want to click use advanced 3D settings. Now you want to go into PhysicX and turn it on and put it on your GPU. And then you want to click on this option at the top and click enable developer settings. And then you want to choose the second option. Now we are actually going to proceed with the one click installation, which is pretty easy. Just go into this page and click on releases, download the latest release of one click. Save it into any folder you decide. Now you just want to right click it and run it as administrator. You want to click on run anyway. Now it will uh, ask you to disable your Windows Defender. So let's do that. Just disable all the four options. Now I can click on continue, click yes. We have already disabled it, so just press enter. Now you want to click on the first option to permanently disable it. Now we are going to make a restore point to make sure we can recover our old settings in case anything bad goes wrong. Now you will get your first prompt, which will be this one. And now all you want to do is click yes in case you want to have less processes and a different um, alternative for the Windows menu. Uh, or no, if you want to stick to the default menu. Now I'm going to do yes because it's just a smart decision and it just looks a bit worse, but it's that less bloated and it will give you more performance later on. So now that that is done, you will proceed with the installation. You just wanna click on continue on everything. Just click next. Now, as you can see, uh, the installation will proceed in the background. You just wanna right click on your Windows icon, click settings, then go into backup, load from XML, go into your local disk C, click on one click tools, and then scroll all the way down till you find open shell. And then you wanna choose the team. And as you can see, it looks way better than the default open shell team. Now we'll proceed with the GPU tweaks. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just click one if you have NVIDIA, two if you're on AMD, and three if you're on Intel. So I have NVIDIA, so I'm going with number one. Now, you, you will be prompted with this question asking if you want to disable telemetry. If you're using Shadowplay, click no. If you're using OBS, click yes. Now, you will be prompted with something similar, which is timer res latency. Just click seven and proceed. Now, for here, you just want to click three, which is the recommended setting. Now, here, you want to choose if you want to use these tweaks. I'm going to click yes on all of them, but uh, keep in mind it might break some stuff so yeah take into account what kind of system you have now you can choose either the normal ultimate performance power plan or idle off so if you have good temps i just go with idle off but if you don't just go with the with number one now you can see if it has imported successfully which mine has so you can proceed now it will ask you if you want to defrag drives click yes if you're on a hard drive and no if you're on an ssd and that's pretty much about it now you can just restart your pc now as you can see uh we have way less processes we are on 48 processes we are on 2 gigs of ram all this while i have obs open so keep in mind it will be lower for you uh there is almost no usage on anything and everything it feels way more responsive so yeah that was the video thank you for watching